Hello everyone, how to solve this radical math question square root 24 over square root 30 plus square root 6 and whole to the power 24 is equal to what? How to solve this question? It's an interesting radical math question. So let's start. First of all, here is square root 24. You can see the square root 24, it will be square root 6 times 4 6 times 4 it will be 24 and here square root 30 you can see the square root 30 it will be square root 6 times 5 plus square root 6 and whole to the power 24 now at this moment you can see the here is square root 6 times square root 4 over square root 6 times square root 5 plus square root 6 and whole to the power 24. Now here at this moment you can see here is square root 6 times square root 4 it will be 2 over and here is square root 6 is common so here is square root 6 this uh, divide this it will be square root 5 plus this divide this it will be 1 bracket and hold to the power 24 now at this moment these these cancel we are find out here it's 2 over square root 5 plus 1 bracket hold to the power 24 now at this moment you can see this expression here 2 over square root 5 plus 1 times I multiply this below and this will it will be square root 5 minus 1 square root 5 minus 1 and bracket whole to the power 24 now you can see this expression it will be 2 square root 5 minus 1 this time this and this time this you can see it will be a plus b times a minus b so i can do this formula you can see it will be a square minus v square i mean a is equal to square root 5 v is equal to 1 and whole to the power 24. now here you can see 2 square root 5 minus 1 2 times square root 5 minus 1 and here 5 minus 1 square root cancel and hold to the power 24 and here 2 square root 5 minus 1 and here is 5 minus 1 it will be 4 and bracket power is 24 now you can see really here 4 divide 2 it will be 2 with a nice math which is 4 divide 2 it will be 2 so you can see really here is square root 5 minus 1 this 4 divide this 2 it will be 2 so you can see really here is 2 a bracket whole to the power 24 now at this point if we evaluate this expression you can see really it will be square root 5 minus 1 over 2 and hold the power this 24 you can see it will be 3 times 8 3 times 8 it will be 24 now here square root 5 minus 1 and 2 hold to the power 3 bracket power is 8 I got into exponential load 3 times 8 it will be 24 so you can see that this is equal to this there is no problem now at this moment you can see really this expression it will be square root 5 minus 1 bracket power is 3 over 2 to the power 3 and here power is 8 now if i apply this formula here a minus v whole cube it will be a cube minus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square minus v cube so you can see really this expression it will be a cube minus 3 square b 
plus 3ab square minus v cube b square will be 1 then here is 8 and bracket whole to the power 8 now at this moment you can see here is square root 5 whole to the power 3 it will be 5 root 3 5 and minus and square root is cancel we know that 3 times 5 it will be 15 and here is 3 square root 5 minus 1 over 8 whole to the power 8 now at this point if I evaluate this math expression you can see the 5 root 5 3 root 5 it will be 8 root 5 8 root 5 and 15 minus 1 it will be 16 over 8 bracket power is 8 now at this moment you can see here is 8 is common so 8 I take 8 is common and which is square root 5 minus 16 divide 8 it will be 2 bracket over 8 and bracket whole to the power 8 is equal to and at this moment if I cancel out this value and this it will be square root 5 minus 2 whole to the power 8 so we will find out it is a nice radical expression is square root 5 minus 2 whole to the power 8 so square root 5 minus 2 whole to the power 8 is equal to what at this point we will find out this expression so if you want to find out the expression first of all we are let here x is equal to square root 5 minus 2 but our target uh, square root 5 minus 2 whole to the power 8 is equal to what so I use both side x1 is 8 so square root 5 minus 2 whole to the power 8 so this is our target x to the power 8 is equal to what so we will add here x it will be square root 5 minus 2 and you can see this expression here x plus 2 is equal to square root 5 I just move on this to in this side it will be positive 2 now at this moment if I use both side whole square so here is square and this is square root 5 whole to the power 2 now we know that a plus v whole square it will be a square plus 2ab plus v square so it will be x square plus 2ab 2 times 2 it will be 4 and x plus v square 2 square it will be 4 and square root 5 is cancelled here is 5 now you can see this expression here x to the power 2 plus 4x is equal to 1 5 minus 4 it will be 1 now here this quadratic equation it will be x squared is equal to 1 minus 4x I just move on this 4x in this side there will be 1 minus 4x x square is equal to this fellow but our target x to the power 8 is equal to what so again I use both set whole square so x square whole to the power 2 is equal to 1 minus 4x whole to the power 2 now you can see the little v x to the power 4 2 times 2 it will be 4 and in here a minus b whole square so you can see the little v s square minus 2ab plus v square I mean 4x whole square now this expression here is x to the power 4 is equal to 1 minus 8x 2 times 4 it will be 8x plus 16x squared and here x to the power 4 it will be 1 minus 8x plus 16x squared recall x square it will be 1 minus 4x I put this value in this expression it will be 1 minus 4x now here is x to the power 4 is equal to 1 minus 8x plus 16 minus and 4 times 16 will be 64 and here is x 
then you can see that here is x to the power 4 it will be 1 minus 64 and here is minus 8 so it will be 72 x and here is plus 16 now you can see that this expression it will be x to the power 4 is equal to 17 16 plus 1 it will be 17 and here is 72 x but our target x to the power 8 is equal to what we are find out x to the power 4 is equal to this now at this moment again i use both side whole square so you can see that here is x to the power 4 is equal to 17 minus 72 x and i use both side again whole square so we know that uh, x to the power 4 2 times 4 it will be 8 so x to the power 8 this is our final answer x to the power 8 this value so it will be 17 square we know that it will be a square minus 2 a b plus v square i mean a square minus 2 ab plus b square then at this point we'll find out here is x to the power 8 is equal to 17 17 square we know that it will be 2 8 9 minus this time this and this it will be 2 4 4 8 x and 72 times 72 it will be 5 1 8 4 and x to the power 2 it will be x square then you can see that here is x to the power 8 is equal to 2 8 9 minus 2 4 4 8 x plus and this will it will be 51 84 and recall first of all you know that x square will be 1 minus 4 x i put this in this expression it will be 1 minus 4 x now you can see that here is x to the power 8 is equal to 2 8 9 minus 2 4 4 8 x plus and here this time this it will be 5 1 8 4 minus this time this i mean uh, 4 times this it will be 2 0 7 3 6 x now here x to the power 8 is equal to this plus this it will be 5 4 and 7 3 minus this plus this because of that both are negative so it will be 2 3 1 8 4 x so we'll find out here is this value but recall first of all we are let x is equal to square root 5 minus 2 we are let this value so i put this value in this expression so you can see here is x to the power 8 is equal to 5 4 7 3 minus 2 3 1 8 4 times the square root 5 minus 2 now you can see that here is x to the power 8 it will be 5 4 7 3 minus this time this it will be 2 3 1 8 4 square root 5 minus minus it will be plus and 23 it's okay it will be 46 3 6 8 this time this it will be this now at this moment if i add both value this value and this value where find out here is x to the power 8 i mean it will be square root 5 minus 2 whole to the power 8 it's mean uh, our question square root 24 over square root 30 plus square root 6 and whole to the power 24 is equal to this plus this it will be 5 1 8 4 1 minus and this will it will be 2 3 8 4 square root 5 2 3 1 8 4 square root 5 this is our final answer 
in this mass Olympiad question. It is a long maths problem. This is the value of this vertical maths question. Thank you all. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe my channel for other interesting video. Goodbye. Take care.